welcome back to another video guys, it's Odd Legend here, and today we've got a bit of a special one. We're going to be showcasing the newest uh, exclusive fighter, I guess, I think it's the newest one at least, <clears throat> Inner Pieces, Eliza, and you get her from the Golden Fighter, or Golden Fighter, Golden Gifts, these things, where are they? Shoot, I don't have any, the Golden Gifts, you know what I mean, you can get her from them, but she's quite rare. Uh, she has a very unique ability, and it's very interesting. She's also uh, a reference to the other game made by these same studios, so it's very yeah, it's very interesting to get her. It's also pretty cool because she's so um, <clears throat> so rare. But I'm going to be showcasing her, and also I'm going to be showing the best way to grind experience in the game. Now, first thing you want to do if you're going to grind out experience for a long time is going to be to pop an EXP booster, if you're going to be able to make use of it for a little while at least. Uh, and now you want to go to meaner, better, faster, stronger, and go to master. This is if you completed this. This is for more end game players. Oops. Okay. And you want to go to downtown here, which is the. Oh wait, no, not downtown. You want to go to the last one, whichever. Maple Crest. Yeah. Maple Crest there. And if you haven't gotten this far in the game, you can do the same strategy. You just have to go to the toughest node in the story mode that you have unlocked. Um, yeah, the toughest node in the story mode that you have unlocked and <clears throat> that you can reasonably beat because if it takes it's really difficult for you to beat it you're not gonna be able to beat it consistently and it's not gonna be worth your time so go to the toughest one you can reasonably beat and on this uh here if you're if you are here most of these nodes will do fantastic for grinding experience but the last node is actually the best it'll give you the most so i'm going to uh, showcase inner pieces in some extreme long shots here and see how it goes <clears throat> Um, let me see here, this will do better on her. <clears throat> so, inner pieces ability before we get into this is, when entering segment mode, gain a buff for 15 seconds per teammate. The buff gained is determined on each fighter's element, or each teammate's element. So, the buffs go like this. Fire gives you enrage, uh, wind gives you regen, water gives you armor. Dark gives you thorns, light gives you blessing, and barrier gives you, or barrier, neutral gives you barrier. Um, <clears throat> very, uh, very good, very unique and versatile ability. On defense, you can employ neutral fighters, dark fighters, light fighters as her partners, and even water to make her a pain. And on offense, water, honestly, all of them will work, but enrage and regen are probably the best, depending on uh, how much chip damage you have to survive. I have the Blockbuster meter gain marquee on her because she relies so heavily on Blockbusters. And to be honest, I probably want to mess around with this moveset a little bit before we start. I want like something like this and that. That's pretty good. And again, 4k power and we're going to be going up against the 57k team with a bunch of modifiers. Now if you notice, I brought uh, Peacock as my partner. Or wildcard peacock because I want the enrage to help me chew through the opponents and <clears throat> as it is I also have the tag out or outtake whatever that move that forces the opponent to tag out because on this node the opponent's uh, dead body will cause you doom if you stand near it and <clears throat> also if you kill them near their dead body they'll like resurrect or something I don't know exactly how it works Shoot, okay, I'm already gonna have to dodge the BB3. Don't trigger it on me. I was lucky. <laughs> that got scary really fast. But yes, I have the outtake move because um, <clears throat> using it on the opponent's dead body will force them out. Uh, we'll force it. Not, but it won't. Okay, it's a little bit hard to explain, but when you use the outtake move on the. Uh, a corpse it won't tag out it'll just be sent off the screen so you don't have to deal with it anymore and since it's not sitting on the screen anymore uh, you don't have to worry about it getting in the way and causing doom and such to you so this should this blockbuster should kill her here I think shoot okay I missed the window that was bad because now her body is still in the corner um, if I missed the window to outtake her, I don't know if there was actually a window there, if I should have waited a minute and then done it. Uh, done it when I could, like, launch her into it. And you also, you have to do it immediately after they die, as they're, like, falling down to the ground. Or, uh, after they bounce off the ground, because otherwise the body will become, like, intangible. Uh, 
that you can't force it off the screen as far as I know. Okay, so I'm actually getting really low on health here, which is not good at all. So we're gonna force uh, her out. We're gonna back up and then catch uh, Parasol on her block here. We're gonna back up again. And we're gonna try to catch Peacock as she comes in with the outtake move. Uh, grab her on wake up, force her back, and we're gonna try to in intercept her as she comes in here. Uh, catch her with the blockbuster as she runs in. Uh, catch her on wake up with the charge attack and finish her. Solid, uh, solid game there. I almost lost. Now, normally if I had another teammate, in this scenario, I would definitely equip regeneration, or I would definitely equip a, a wind teammate, because she'll be able to help me deal with that chip damage that's bringing me down so dangerously low. Uh, but as it is, I did fine with just the enrage helping me burn through them. Now if you see, I gained 54,000 experience. I think I got a 90% non-shot, uh, non long shot. I got a 90% long shot, I'm pretty sure and I gained 54,000 experience. If I had my EXP booster on, that would be about 110,000 experience for one game. That took me like two and a half minutes. It's really insane how quickly you can grind using this method. <clears throat> Obviously, if you're not quite to this point, you won't be gaining that much experience, but grinding these story modes for full experience is still really, really profitable. Uh, we're just gonna start the battle again and do it, do it a few times here because it's not, it's not too hard once you get into a rhythm and master how the battle uh, works, how the, uh, how the, I guess, modifiers work. You get into a rhythm of playing around them, and it works quite well. So just right there, catch her on the fall down. And we're gonna tag out her body as she falls. There, it worked that time. Now her body's no longer in the corner, and I have free reign to walk into the corner and pin the opponents there, uh, as long as I can keep it clear of the next body. Back up a little bit. She shouldn't trigger her unblockable. Okay, that was dangerous. She gained her unblockable in one of the hit. I in one hit, I expected to. Okay, gonna tag her there with just the edge of that attack to uh, drain her meter, make it safer. Uh, honestly, that was kind of dangerous because this should connect, I think, yes. Uh, it was pretty dangerous because she actually, uh, I'm gonna grab her and wake up because she actually, kill her with that. Uh, <clears throat> shoot, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, she clashed with me as I, as I used my segment and it almost killed me or it did like 40% of my health just from one one down swipe attack, whatever it's called. I wanna say down tilt, but uh, cause I'm used to smash terminology, but it's not a down tilt. It's like a, I, I don't know what it's called, but the down attack, the one where she slides on her boat. <clears throat> we'll just call it down tilt. <laughs> uh, finish somersault off here. And this should be another easier this time cause I'm getting into the rhythm of it more. There should be another 54,000 experience. There we go, another 54,000 experience. Long shot 90. Easy levels. <clears throat> now it's not exactly as if Inner Pieces is the best Eliza or anything. She she's quite good, but she's not she's not the best Eliza, and she's you know not even 5,000 power here, and I'm ripping through a 60k power team. So you can do this strategy with a lot of different fighters if you just play well. You bring a team that works, and you play well. <clears throat> You can do the strategy to gain, gain experience with a lot of fighters. You can also carry another fighter through if you have a decent peacock as the lead. I'm, I'm just using uh, a weak peacock because I want to showcase how good Eliza can do on her own. And we're gonna and try to tag him out. Missed. Yeah, you gotta be careful because if you can't bounce them off the ground into the tag out when they as soon as they die, you can't actually get them out. They won't tag out. <clears throat> Or I guess just fly off screen into nothing. Uh, kind of interesting that tagging out the dead body strat really doesn't have much application besides in these type of scenarios, but it is it is a pretty powerful strat when you use it right. So again, right 
right here. We're going to go for this and tag her out. That worked, for, uh, that worked great. Uh, one more. Uh, I'll probably do one more battle after this just to showcase how it works. I would switch up the fighter that I have boosting me, but I'm going to get our wake up here. I would switch out the fighter that I have boosting me, but there's really no better option for this node at all. Like, all you're going to see is it give me regen instead of enrage, or thorns instead of enrage, and enrage is what I need to beat this node. Uh, <clears throat> because if I don't have enrage to beat this node, then... Got her. You can dash forward after that attack in combo, by the way. I used that to make sure she didn't have any blockbuster meter. Um, yeah, because nothing is going to benefit me more than Enrage on this node. <clears throat> Blessing and Regen on armor will help a little bit, reducing the chip. Uh, I guess maybe Thorns too? I forget if Thorns actually protects you from any of the damage or not. But all the ones that heal you or protect you, those will help me with the chip damage. But I'm, I'm surviving the chip damage as it is on my own. And <clears throat> none of them really give me a, an offensive boost like Enrage does, which I definitely need to chew through these fighters because I can stack enrages quite quickly when I get off two or three blockbusters in a row. I'm gonna catch her on wake up. You just gotta get used to gaming the AI, how the system works, uh, how they play. Uh, chain together a quick combo there. She really does do incredible damage with the, um, I think I can hit this, but I'm not sure. Yes, okay, good, I can bounce the dead body off, nice. Uh, no worry about that corner anymore. <clears throat> she really does do incredible damage in her pieces when you get her stacking with the enrages. I said not the best Eliza, but honestly, she's she's probably very good on the tier list. Maybe not as good as Bloodbath, but I'm I'm not sure. But uh, she's definitely quite good on the tier list, in my opinion. Although I don't know her base stats. Shoot. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have to back up because I killed her and not in a way that I could tag her off. Uh, we're just going to try to chip down this Eliza as best we can. Hit her with the uh, <clears throat> middle of the Sphinx to drain her meter. We're going to try to keep her meter controlled here so that she doesn't gain enough to kill us outright. Uh, time to go for a long combo here because we can stack the enrages easily. And hit her with this outtake into Kepri and that should be the kill. Also yeah, once you have one fighter left you can use outtake as an attack method. Shoot! What did I do? I triggered a modifier I didn't know. <laughs> okay, apparently I don't know how the modifier works because I accidentally triggered it by killing her near the dead body. I thought it would revive Eliza, the one I just killed, but it revived the one that was dead and I didn't think about it, but <clears throat> easy win there either way. And again, that should be, unless we've leveled up too much for the modifier. To, nope. Okay, yeah, we have. We've gone up to long shot 80 because we've gained so much um, uh, fighter score leveling up this way. But that's a quick demonstration of how this works. <sighs> it's really easy. It's, it's, it's really, really easy. <clears throat> Inner Pieces is a great fighter. Absolutely just very fun to play with. And this is only with one supporting uh, one supporting character, because in a 3v3, you can use two supporting characters, and I could have double Enrage per Blockbuster, or Enrage and Enrage and Blessings, or Enrage and Armor, Enrage and, and Regen, whatever I want per, per Blockbuster, because she gets two teammates in a 3v3. So that's Inner Pieces Showcase and a showcase of how to grind the best experience in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you later. Peace.